Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I thought I'd give a little update on our coffee trees here. This is three of them here. Uh, there used to be four. I don't know what happened to the fourth one. But uh, they're doing okay. This one has a few uh, a few little coffee beans on it. And it looks very healthy. This one here also has some coffee beans on it, but it's not that healthy because I think these red ants are farming aphids on it. See those red ants there? I'm just going to focus on this branch. There's red ants on this and they're farming the aphids. They've got little aphid colonies there. So, I need to get some seven dust out after this, or, you know, it might, uh, soap might actually work on these. But that needs to be treated. And this one here is doing very well. It's probably the, the biggest one that we have, but... It uh, doesn't have hardly any beans on it. It's just a few there. And I don't know why. Uh, this one seems to be concentrating on growing taller rather than uh, producing coffee beans. You know, it's been a couple of weeks. I'm going to go and check on those others. There was a... There was a line of these all along here. And there's another one here. And there was a line of them going all the way back there. And you know, I haven't even checked to see how many are left. Uh, this one's doing not great and it doesn't have any coffee beans on it. And that might be one right there. No. Uh, there was a whole line of these all the way down to the fish pond. And going back that way, all the way to the piggery. But it's been a while since I was down here you know, looking at these other coffee beans. Oh, it reminds me I need to get some gas for the mower. You know, that'll be on tomorrow's list. I'm going to burn this wood here. Uh, I, I offered it to Canario and anybody else who, who wanted it for cooking wood. And uh, no one wants to take it home. So I'm just going to burn it. I'm going to bring down a shovel or two full of coals and just put under this. Uh, I don't care about uh, this tree here. And it's far enough away from the mango to where it won't bother it. Uh, all that pile there needs to be burned. Uh, Tatai says this wood is too old now to be made into charcoal. And the other wood that Marcel had set aside up there to make charcoal, Tatai says that, is, that isn't good to make charcoal. So um, we're just going to burn this, make an ash pile, and uh, go from there. There are, I don't know, I haven't counted how many, how many of these uh, coffee trees we've got left. Uh, this one down here is not doing well. It's very pale and just not thriving. None of these next to this old rice field are doing any good. Um, it's full of beans. Uh, and these are starting to get ripe, I think. Some people, people were telling me that uh, when they uh, start to turn red like this, that they're getting close. And then someone said purple. So I don't know. It's strange that the most sickly uh, coffee tree that we have is the one that's doing the best uh, production-wise. Yeah, this one actually is probably a little more sickly. I have tried m many times. Uh, these two trees here in particular were 
and there's vines in here that like to uh, climb up on them. Yeah, all this needs to be mowed again. I've just been too gimpy to push the mower around and nothing much has changed. But this is about the, the perfect height for mowing. There's another couple trees in here. This was a line. There was a line going all the way down that way and a line going all the way this way. And that big drought we had a couple of years ago, we lost a lot of these. Uh, no beans on that one. None on this one. Looks healthy enough. This vetch, whatever this vine is here, isn't doing it a lot of good. But it's growing. Now the ones that I did a video on before that uh, Taka and I had seen a couple weeks ago, uh, those are the ones I want to see. This little tree here is still alive. That's about all you can say for it. Oh my, I'll, I hope that uh, it's looking like everything is really bright. In the monitor screen, I hope that's, hope the video is not coming out like that. This is one of the trees here. Again, no beans on it. This is one of the ones that had a lot on it, and it still does. Well, it's got it's got coffee beans all over it, and I see ants on this one as well. So these ants are probably uh, farming aphids on this one too. This one here has got a bunch of little beans on it. What is up with this camera? Acting like it's in a low light or something. So, you know, they're hanging in there. What have we got? Three, six, nine, fifteen, maybe twenty left. Twenty-five. I haven't checked over on the other side uh, by the, the old tilapia pond. There's uh, twenty-five in this general area around the piggery. Uh, we planted over a hundred. There were a couple back up in here, but I don't think they've survived. And there's one here, and it's in dire need of some rescue from this vetch, whatever it is, this, whatever this climbing vine is, it's just trying to take it over. So, I'll try to help it out a little bit here. We don't need all that stuff on it. I'm just going to leave that. It's, you know, I'll make sure I've got all of it. This is also coming from banana tree, too. Well, yeah. that's a little more better. Still doesn't look like much of a tree.
That'll help it out some. This one here looks like the vetch died on its own. I don't think that fire will get too hot to bother these. Again, there was a whole line of these going up here. And I don't see any more. Nope. That was it. So I don't know, we've still got 30 or so coffee trees. And they've got beans on them. You could probably all use a good fertilizing. A little a little more TLC than what they've been getting. It's on the list. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.